Hello and welcome to Multicrack. As you can see in the background, I finally finished my hotel. Yay! It's taken quite a while, but I've just been doing it for like yesterday and today, which is why I didn't record yesterday because I was just doing this. Also, spawn is looking very beautiful. Um, Raven, Kung and Lobber have been doing this, I think. Uh, oh, they have plans for something here too. Uh, let me just jump over here. Look at it. It's so good. Let's have a... I haven't actually looked at this part yet. This is pretty cool. And then we've got the entrance here. Welcome to Multicrack. And then down here, what's this? Notice board. Ah, oh, nice. That's a good position for it. Iraq Lobster, if you can get that, then you are a lad. What? The best high is that the heart of her what? Death to America. <laughs> Over. What the fuck? Well, I'm gonna put a sign down. There we go. Because I need cats for my hotel, so creepers don't blow it up. Oh, I have a sign next to Hitler. Damn it. And down here, what is all this? Uh. What? What the fuck? What? <gasps> oh! Beacon! 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 Oh my god, yes. Yes, yes, yes. That is such a good idea. I'm always gonna put it on green. Green. This is so fucking good. I love it. Please donate diamonds and quartz needed. Well, I'll donate another 16 crafting tables. Hope that's good enough. Then we've got a path around it. Path all the way over here. Craft store and public enchanting room. Let's have a look at this. I saw here it was recording earlier. Uh, let's have a little peek. If you buy anything, leave the payment in a respective chest. Ooh, it's looking nice. Selling 8 glowstone for 1 diamond, 12 lapis for 1 diamond, nice little window, 16 quartz for 1 diamond, wow that's a lot of quartz, holy shit, and his building shit, and a nice little pretty garden I saw he was working on, nice, and then down here the enchanting room, looking very lovely, thank you, come again. That definitely wasn't me. And let's have a look at the hotel. Uh, it doesn't really look like it has a roof, but it does. It's just dark out because you can't see it very well. Can people please close doors? Were you born in a barn? If yes, then... Nay. Raven has been standing there for a while. Um... I'm just gonna push him inside so creepers don't explode him. Get inside. This is for your own safety. Just saved your life. And yeah, it's pretty big. Why is there a bunny? Hello rabbit. Hello. <gasps> I have carrots. Do you want it? Carrot. 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 Oh, you meant to make them breed, aren't you? Damn it. I just made a horny rabbit. So yeah, it's quite tall. And let's have a little peek. Someone has put buttons everywhere, which is really annoying. I don't know why. That's not a prank. That's just griefing. Please stop putting buttons everywhere. It's not funny, and it's really hard to clean up, because even with a stone axe, it takes a while to dig. And look at them all. You have to aim for them. Whoever did this, I hate you. And this is my little staff area. Oh, for God's sake, buttons everywhere. Uh, I got rid of the snow golem because I tested it out in single player and it turns out if a snowman throws a snowball at a creeper, even if you're not in range or the snowman's not in range, the creeper will just explode because he's being attacked. Um, so I've got rid of him. I do plan on putting an iron golem there, but obviously that'll take quite a lot of resources. I'm not going to put a villager there because 
then zombies will come from everywhere to kill him. But we've got stairs up, and then we've got the first layer, which is just filled with rooms. Not sure what I want to do here. Uh, all the rooms have a bed and a crafting table and lights. And then second floor, pretty much the same layout because there's no windows on this layer. Third layer is where it starts getting good. Got got like big rooms with nice big blue windows. A few there. This is Jamie's room, as you can tell. Uh, most rooms have balcony access, especially on, well, from level three and up. And then up here is the best layer. This is this is just great up here. I love it. So there's my room. I took the best one because I built it. So I've got a nice big window with great view. Balcony. There's also a tower up there. I want to have a look at that. Some big birch tower. See Connor's house and Dark Crust's house. Uh, a lot of glass. Oh, that's the what's it called? Lazy chunk thingy. Uh, Dark Crust was doing that, I think. I'll have a look at that in a bit. You can see Spawn looking all beautiful. And my room also has another balcony over here with a lovely little view of the Spawn houses. Then we've got room in here with, this is like a smaller room. And we've got another one over here. Then balcony over this side. And a, another big room here with two balconies. Which is not, not as good of a view, but hopefully people will start building stuff out that way soon. Kind of like circle around spawn. And we've got a balcony here, overlooking spawn. I will pretty up all this and put a bridge there soon, but I'm not sure when. Then I've got a little room here with a nice view of spawn. And one more room in here with another nice little view of spawn. And then up here we have a nice skylight with a giant flag. Right, it's now daytime and I'll show the flag again. Uh, I made it green because obviously green is the best colour in the universe. I'll just head outside and get a nice couple of views from outside. So that's my hotel. Um, if you would like a room in it, just message me on here or something when I'm on. They don't. I'm not going to charge for rooms, but I haven't decorated any of the rooms because I want people to decorate them themselves. So each room will be custom. Uh, that's disgusting. Um, so yeah, just ask me if you want a room. Obviously it's first come, first serve, so if you want a decent room with a nice window, then you better ask quickly. I'm not expecting people to use them much, but just like if you're at spawn, it's, it's an easy place to sleep. So you don't have to like run back to your base or anything. Although some people do have houses at spawn, which, um, yeah, wasn't, I wasn't expecting people to be doing that. Because the last time everyone built out far away, but oh well. Um, oh, there's another portal around here somewhere. This is, I saw this as a sign on it. Joe's house. Craft. What? Nice. Oh, he's got an enchanting room too. Yum. It's a nice little house. Well, not little, but you know what I mean. So, I want to go check out this birch tower. Nah, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't steal your stuff. I'm really curious to see whose birch tower this is. Ah! Creeper. Damn it, people. Fix your creeper holes. Or I'll make my creeper give you a hole. This is pretty. I'm really curious who this is. 
Wow. This looks fucking awesome. No sign on it though. Oh, there's a ladder. Let's have a look up here. Why is my music on? Oh yeah, because I was listening to it. This is pretty cool. Whose is it? Tell me. If this is yours, please tell me, because I'm curious. Oh god, three skeletons. Oh shit. Uh. Ah! Ah, four? Five? S what? Really? Oh! Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. What the fuck? Okay, I'm escaping. That was too many mobs for me to handle. Fuck that. Oh, the creeper reminded me. Uh, when you're on this server, try and just act as if there's always a creeper coming to get you. Because a lot of people are like, letting creepers blow shit up. Uh, okay. And obviously it's not anyone's fault that a creeper blows up, because they're completely silent and you do know they're coming, and then they just blow a hole in their front. What about Saf? Nobody cares about stuff. There we go. Much better. So yeah, obviously it's nobody's fault that creepers are blowing shit up, but just if you try and act like there's always a creeper, you'll be more cautious and then you won't have to deal with all that shit, like dying and having to repair holes. So like if there's ever a corner or something, just be prepared and when you're trying to fight creepers, just like hit it, run away, hit it, run away, hit it, run away, do that sort of thing. Because it's never fun getting blown up. And it's also never fun having your building or something blown up. And I'm home. Jamie's sorted all this stuff out, which is very kind of him. Thank you, Jamie. Lots of sexist stuff. Oh, and what's this? Digging out area for the house, I guess. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And here's my dog. I thought I'd lost you. Woof woof. Okay, so that's probably going to be it for today. I just wanted to do a little quick recap because I just wanted to get that hotel done so I can move on to other projects. But also I'm trying to record other videos as well. I've already recorded one spooky game for October, but it's kind of hard finding games. So if you know of any spooky games, please leave a name in the description of what game or a link or something. But I'm gonna probably start on some other project and videos won't stop but that I'll probably I did that two weeks of a video every day but I'm probably gonna slow it down a little bit so it's like maybe a video every other day or something so thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed and goodbye <laughs>